Hey everyone, welcome to our daily recycled art reading or art channeling. And so this is what we picked out of our bin for today. And it's our cream cheese packaging from... last September, September 2020, and um, so we invite you to tune in to the imagery and the symbolism that's present here as we begin to um, read, read the energy that's present with this, and as a reflection for you at whatever time and place that you feel called to listen to this. So we have a lot of um, silver, a lot of silver um, that's all on the front side and I feel drawn to like make distinctions to begin to connect these things, connect all the different elements. Like there's different numbers, there's different packaging, there's different parts that relate to regulations. So there's things being regulated in the connections and how are these regulations cultivating a flow of our presence? How are these regulations challenging the flow of our presence? The, the pulse of our heart is kind of this, dif this, it's different, it's distinct to act, to act, and to listen to the pulse of our heart and what keeps us alive, what keeps us engaged with life, what keeps us flowing, what kinds of qualities in the present moment keep us engaged with our existence and um it's these hearts are like appearing kind of like a ribbon here and it's just making me feel like sometimes so it's making me think about how the this like presentation, this idea of presentation is not always in tune with the pulse of our heart. A lot of times it's it's reflecting a distortion. Pure and simple. Pure and simple. So the distortion might be no art. That's so funny. In this in this ribbon here it says no. What's highlighted? You see that? It says no art is within the, the heart. Okay. So there's the heart, the art of heart. And um, here it says there's no art. But what is, what is the heart of art? This pure and simple. Keeping simple, make, 
making something pure and simple or seeing it as pure and simple. Um, and then there's this moose. What does the moose say? The moose says, I challenge you to be pure and simple. And, and then I wonder, like, how, how does, how does the, how is the moose presenting that to me? Like, by its own, by its own existence. Um, because before up here, we started, like, dissecting all these different aspects, like, how this number is correlated to something, how this barcode is correlated to something, how the ingredients are correlated to regulation of needing to put the ingredients, but like what types of regulations are around the language and like what is in these ingredients? What is the process of these ingredients? What language what language is being used. And so it kind of feels like an illusion. It feels like a facade. It feels like... Um, a challenge to the pure and simple. What, what does that even mean, pure and simple, purely present? We do have a, these, um, all of these ones here. This is the code of the, for the coloring. These are all the colors that were print used in the printing. We have black, blue, yellow, or perhaps it would be like uh, K, CMYK, K is that black. I forget what the name of that, the black color is, but cyan, yellow, magenta, red, silver, and blue and so in some areas the blue is used with the pure and simple and sometimes the white and there's like a blue border around it and all of these regulations are also printed in blue so We noticed, uh, we notice a pattern here. So, the blue, what does the blue represent? The blue can represent the sky. It's like this dark blue. The blue is in the sky, but then the white, the mountain is white. So we see it says pure and simple is, is white. And um, I think that that, and then the challenge is also in white. So the white is our challenge. All the things that white or whiteness might represent if they claim to be pure and simple. I would question, I would question that because it's, because if, if spirit is present with all of this, and here the, 
they're they're challenging that by calling the pure and simple this reflection of the mountain and perhaps the mountain is something to climb perhaps it's um, a construct that has intentionally been created or perhaps it's Perhaps it's, um, because what is it really, what creates the white color? It's reflecting the sunlight, this like bright, bright light. But there's no sun in the, in the, in this image, but there is sun outside here with, that I'm present with. And so there's like sun coming in through the window. And so, um, and that sun is reflecting off of the silver, which, which is exciting because, um, it's, it's like the background, it's, rec it's recognized in the background. And then the silver was kind of the first element that I was drawn to. It's also the image, it's also the color of this blade. And so, I want to like, I want to fold, I don't have any tape or glue or anything, but I do want to fold this, um, silver through and so I think I'm going to create some slits for that to happen and um I don't particularly want this image to really show but at the same time, like, in this new context, it says challenge pure and simple. Challenge what is pure. Let us, if we challenge what is um, pure and simple, we might come into the awareness of uh, this, the present. When we think, when we really question deeply, like, what, what does pure and simple mean? What is it, is it neglecting something? Is it, is it, um, is it revealing something? Like, perhaps it's just simply revealing, revealing something to us, um, just as we acknowledge it so folding these things to the other side here and starting to is there anything that wants to come through This moose holding along the axis of of this. The moose comes through. Reflecting the red is reflecting the challenge. This is the challenge. And there's two directions the challenge can take place. And
what would those directions be? One would be open. Actually, perhaps there's four. There's four directions. So then we become grounded with, within the four directions, recognizing the, the presence. So this is, this is all we have for now. And, um, yeah, let us know if you, what you think. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And also we do custom recycled art readings. So if you'd like to order one, um, you can email me at m.d at reglow.net. You can visit my website at reglow.net. Um, we have... We have a lot of other sewing videos if you want to engage more in like just being present in the process of making something or transforming something um, that we've shared and that we'll continue to share. So like and subscribe to this and if you want to, if you want to keep receiving these daily recycled art channelings especially. So We'll see you next time. Thank you for your, your attention and for your presence. Love, love to you.